I'm Marsha Harbison, and I play in the Springfield Symphony Orchestra, and I'm joined here today by our very good friends Boris Kogan, cellist, and his wife Sophie Shenskaya. And uh, we've played chamber music many, many years together, and I think that you would enjoy hearing their inspiring story about coming here from Russia. So, Boris, I'm going to ask you first, when did you arrive in the U.S.? It was 1991, and it was very funny for maybe you, but not for us, because we came in night of Halloween. Oh, right. <laughs> and that was a little bit weird, because we didn't have that celebration in uh, Russia. And that was a shock, number one. <laughs> <laughs> then. The uh, second shock was in the airport in New York City because I couldn't open the door. Because in Russia it used to be handles on the door, but uh, that was the bar across the door. And I had no idea how to open it. it maybe I was stupid then enough. <laughs> but now I'm smarter. Yeah. I hope. And uh, about uh, what I did in Russia, I played in symphony. 17 years and my education is 18 years including school, college and conservatory and I was in two conservatories. Uh, I went to Novosibirsk, not uh, by my wish, but uh, I met my teacher Gregory Pecker who was a Klengel's student. Um, Klengel is, uh, was a very famous uh, teacher and his students, including, was Gregory Packer and Gregory Patigorsky, as maybe mm -hmm. people know better. And that's it about my life there. <laughs> it was the St. Petersburg Symphony, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, Sophie, um, can you tell us a little bit about how you accompany the Olympic gymnasts? Yes. Uh, actually, I'm more professional accompanist than teacher. But I love to teach too. I was accompanist for a number of opera theaters in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, in Leningrad, St. Petersburg now. I teach in College of Music. I had students and I was accompanied for a while for Olympic gym uh, team. That's it, and we came together with my husband. I just want to notice that we never played together in Russia. Uh -huh. Yes, but we start to play here. It's like our daughter joked. My parents didn't play together because they want to save their marriage. <laughs> but now we play together here, and everything is okay. So and you're still married. Yes, yes. yes. Fantastic. <clears throat> yeah. um, so then, when did you become U.S. citizens? In five years after we arrived. Yeah, I remember that. It was fantastic. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, and you had to learn English. Oh, yeah. Which was amazing. I hope, I hope you understand what oh, the devil is saying. But it's still a problem, you know, especially when you became nervous and tried to talk to audience. But we love it in yeah. spite of everything. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> um, so when you came, you had no cello. You couldn't take your cello out of Russia, It right? was prohibited. Everything was is issued before 1945. Music, art, whatever, it just, it was prohibited to take. That's why I came like a shoemaker without shoes. Yeah. I remember you borrowed a wonderful cello from John oh, Sessions. Was, it was, I, yeah. still I don't believe that people can do that. Yeah. It was uh, 1658, I believe, Forster, English cello. And he gave it to me, and I played that cello 12 years. Yeah, that was What nice. I appreciate a lot. Yeah, that was great. Um, okay, so uh, we are going to play an Andante from a trio written by Klingel, the Russian. My great music. teacher. Thank <laughs> you.
We have a fantastic encore for you with Sophie and Boris playing a very flashy piece. <laughs> 